Ever since I met Tom when I was a kid, I wanted to be a race car driver. Tom, may I have your autograph, please? On that, my very first day at the racetrack, I knew I wanted to go as fast as possible. Speed. That was all I wanted. racing here at the Monterey Speedway. Yes, we are, Lupio. Right now, let's take a look at the contenders. Rogelio Ramirez from Team Seaman Baker is in the pole position. Roger is a driver who only needs a little extra push to get him over the top, and it looks like he may do it. In the second spot, it's Ricardo Fernandez from Telmex Red Bull. He's been having a great season while chasing the coveted title of Rookie of the Year. Third spot belongs to Freddy Balbanera of Extreme Seaman Baker. Rogelio's teammate and a constant force on the track. Taking fourth is Canel's own Andres Asum Solo Jr. The current champion is also the biggest nemesis for Rogelio Ramirez. for first place are the cars from Seaman Baker and Tiltmax. But watch out, the extreme car is coming up the left. This one's mine. Yes, it's Freddy, who comes up the left side and speeds up to the top position. Really impressed today, huh, Freddy? Shocking to see Canel's car lagging so far behind. A man's fight, man against man, strength versus power, Telmex and extreme. Meanwhile, the FedEx car dukes it out with a Sunsolo. What a race! <laughs> FedEx tries to get ahead on the outside as we enter the final lap, and the audience is cheering on its feet. It's a fight to the finish, which is a checkered flag on a photo finish. It's Seaman Baker for Helio in first place. He doesn't let up for Extreme coming up on the left. Here comes the checkered flag. For Helio Ramirez, a Seaman Baker wins the race. Second goes to Extreme and third to Tillman. Well done, Freddy. This one puts Rogelio 15 points ahead of Canal Andreas. It's interesting to note that Canal is in sixth place at this point in the season, where points begin to weigh heavily.
See you later. The keys. Very good. You know this track like nobody else. But the fact is, Andres drove terribly. And that's why you won. Make sure that the next time he loses is because you win. Hmm? It's taking too long. Hello? Alvarito! How are you, brother? What's up? You would have to congratulate Roger. He's the one who races, not me. No, no, I don't gamble. If I bet one cent, my daughter would have my head. Sure, I'll stop by for a little while and say hello, but I won't play. Okay? <laughs> All right, see you later. Ciao. I won't gamble. I'm just going for a while. Good evening, sir. Your ticket. Thanks. Take good care of it. Don't worry. <laughs> Look who's here. Who won? Who it's won? the winner. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> we got the future <laughs> champ right here. Future champ. <laughs> Are you having dinner? They serve a mean duck here. I'm not hungry, Jimmy. Waiter, waiter, come here. He'll have the duck with plenty of prune sauce. Got it? The phone's been ringing off the hook with congratulations. Even Viagas called. That guy doesn't even call to borrow money. He, sa <laughs> he says you drove magnificently. Or Andres drove terribly. Ah, uh, we hadn't won in quite a while. We won, and that's what matters. Compared to Andres, you raced better. Yes, but compared to myself, I could have done better. Excellent. That's the way to talk. See, darling, that's why I let you marry this kid. <laughs> now for the next thing. What's that? We're finally going to race in the U.S.? Come on, you know I don't have the money for that. But Julieta is already working on new sponsors. Isn't that right, dear? Yes, but tonight's different. Why? Because we won, Jimmy. Huh? Again? I'm going out with Freddy and I'll be back soon. Huh? I'll drive you home, okay? Thank you. Easy on my car, pal. That's what he's for, man. Can I get your car, sir? No. We would rather take a taxi. Hey, Freddy. Oof. And how was dinner? You know. Total, total drag. Total drag. <laughs> <laughs> it's part of the package. Yeah, but what a drag. Yeah. Look out, he's coming.
Uh, uh, when will you stop collecting that junk? Never, I think. <laughs> you know what I love? That small space between your car and the other cars at 175 miles an hour. Those uh, fractions of a second that you get to make a decision. That's where you are gambling with life and death. <laughs> Case in point. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so dead, man. <laughs> I went too far. Tell me, what do you think? What springs did you have on? The 400 or the 450? 450. <laughs> and I beat you with the 400. Hey, 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 easy, tiger. I let you win just for today. When are you going to finish that classic? I only have to put the motor together. Ooh. <laughs> what have we here? Hmm? Oh. Hmm. Ludvika is fine. Hmm. Sometimes I get bored. <laughs> <laughs> Where did these come from? Uh, they were my father's. Were? Yeah. I stole them. <laughs> 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 he said I couldn't use them until I became a champ. Hmm. One of these <laughs> days. Wise guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a chess match, man. Tell me, what are you doing later? Ooh, are you gonna join me? <laughs> Do you remember Peras? Hi. <laughs> you are not playing very well, Andres. I've never had a good aim. <laughs> I'm not talking about pool. You mean the race? I had a bad day. Bad? Terrible. You think it was that bad? No. There were a few people who liked what you did. Like me, for instance? Like Roger, for instance? That Rogelio is an easy takedown. You don't have that many races left. The same number as him? <laughs> no, thanks. You don't like it? As a matter of fact, I'm a great pool player. So then? Let's just say I wouldn't want to see you lose twice in the same day. Sol, Andres. Hi. How are you? You are still having problems with your team, aren't you? If I had a good card, Rogelio wouldn't be celebrating. Look, you know I have a good sponsor in Canals. I practically own the joint. So, I will never be lacking in sponsorship. What I really need is a good team. How bizarre. Because maybe we could be that good team. Right? <laughs> How about some drinks? Sure, we have to celebrate, right? This way. Look, man, what you have to do is ask your engineer to change these things, the spraying nozzles. These are the regular ones, but I put larger ones on his car so there could be more fuel injection, which gives it more power. So that's why it doesn't perform? That's why it feels like it's unaccelerating when you floor it. Which is what was happening to my car before, right? Of course. Did you see how this guy passed you coming out of the curves? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's because of that. Hello. 
Good day, man. Hi. I need to talk to you. I'm Andrea Segovia from Jack and Harry Racing. What can I do for you? Could we speak privately? Excuse me, fellas. I guess she knew him back when he had hair. <laughs> I have a proposition for you. My team is looking for drivers. I don't think it's such a good idea to switch teams at this point in the season. Well, it's not just about switching teams, Roger. It's about winning the championship with the backing of a strong team. Besides, it could lead you to driving in the US or in Europe. Couldn't we wait until the end of the season? <sighs> Look, we'll be testing prospects tomorrow at the track. I'll see you at 10. See you soon. Goodbye. What? Are you trying to steal my toys? These things don't happen often. Hmm. I could have said no a thousand times. I wanted more. I always wanted more. Who doesn't want more? We have to rethink things between us. I don't know, maybe slow down and figure out what's going on? Things may be seemingly well between us, but I don't think we are where we imagined ourselves to be. We have to make a decision. What do you think? What are you thinking about? I'm thinking about leaving your father's team. <sighs> what is it? Are you all right? I'm fine. Were you listening yes, to you me? Yes, you said man? we have to make a decision. No? And? Well, I'm making a decision. Julieta, are you feeling hormonal? No, I am not. So you have reached a decision? Yes. Yes, I have. Laser bet? Have you all met Sophia? Hello. Hello, Sophia. Hello, Hello Sophie. Sophie. I trust you'll bring me good luck, Sophie. Of course. <laughs> down, doggies, down. Look at that. Glad to see you, sir. It looks like you're the only one around here who's glad to see me. 
Why would I be glad to see you if every time you come here, you take all my money? Because you have fun with me. You admire me. I'm a good role model for you. <laughs> mm. I don't even know why I invite you. <laughs> Turn. Bet. Quit gambling. I'll call. I pass. I thought you quit gambling. Would you leave a lover who treats you so well? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fifth card, the river. Any bets? All right. <sighs> All right, let's see. A hundred. Call. <laughs> Two pairs, sevens and fours. <laughs> Very good hand, but not good enough. Seven and king. Uh, I'm I back, get... gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I get for inviting you, countryman. Let it ride. Cheers. And so the hare hopped on his Shelby Cobra, his Mustang, and drove off. And the turtle was driving along slowly to 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 in his little car. And mm -hmm. the fastest mm -hmm. car mm -hmm. belongs to Richie Fernandez. Hey kids, how are you? Fine. Pay no attention to top driver here. <laughs> now there's a real car. <laughs> Old, bald, and fat. Dr. Roger Gata, Ramirez. Dr. Gatha, oh, sure, Mr. Skinny. <laughs> Who wants to be this guy? This is Freddy Balbanera. Just remember to be careful on those curves, eh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this one goes in the back. Too bad for her. And this one is the new bullet of the Speedways. The one from Team Jack and Harry. Okay, gentlemen. Okay, gentlemen. Start your engines! Get ready, set, go! It's Richie Fernandez in the top spot, followed closely by Freddy Albanera! Hugh Jackson! Hey, an accident. The pace car comes in to assist. Of course I'm interested. Do they know that my background is mostly in motor vehicles? I can certainly work in other fields. Yes, I have it here. I'll check it now and... Yeah, I'll send it to you today. Thanks, huh? Thanks a million. Bye. It breaks my heart seeing what cancer does to these kids. Yeah, it's a good thing we came. Hey, man. So what's up with Andrea? Nothing. They've made me an offer. Yes, I know. Brother, you've got all the cards on the table. Daytona, Europe. You could reach the big time, daddy -o. Would you do it? Let me think about it. Sure. <laughs> Obviously. See you later. You got it. Hey, what's up, champs? What happened? Why is my car in the pits? Am I out of the game or what? You too? 
Looks like they'll let anyone on this team. This practice was much better than oh, the last okay, one. Okay, that's perfect, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> I thought you weren't coming. It's a very tempting offer. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello, I'm Marco. Hi, Rogelio Ramirez. Nice to meet you. So what springs are on it? The 550. Can we try it with the 600? So it drives a bit stiffer? Sure, we can try. The 600, please. Let me get to it. Go on. There's only one winner in the season. We need one experienced driver, not two. Yeah, but both of them are in the running for the championship. Besides, Andres made us an offer we couldn't refuse. What? You'll play for the rest of the season. I'll tell you about it later. Mary, control yourself. What do you think of this guy? I think so. He'd be a good option. How did he do, Marco? He did great. He was half a second under Andres. Excellent. Yes, very good. Congratulations, Roger. Thanks. How was it? Very good. Half a second faster than Andres. Very good time, huh? How was the car? Traction's okay, but gets a little loose coming out of turn two. Look, I'm pushing for you, but you know how these things are. We're very interested in you racing for us. I think we can reach an understanding. I think so too. I gave Jack and Harry their start. And they betrayed me. They took head of Dez, and now they're trying to take you too. Hiding under these cards is a great hand. How do I know? Because it doesn't matter. It could be a pair of aces, or a pair of fours. The only thing that matters is who the player is. You were that pair of fours, my weakest hand. I made you. I've taken you where you are, and now you say I'm gone? You've always said that the best moment to take risks is when you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose with me. But against me, you have much to lose. Against you, Jimmy? Not being with you is being against you. Being against me is not having me, and that is a great loss for you. We'll see how it goes with those two. Those two who don't love you, who aren't your family. Just make sure you don't lose. I don't want to have to throw your ass out when you come walking back through that door. <laughs> hey, let's go get some cold ones. <sighs> what a temper. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome. Would you care to have some wine with your dinner? Yes. Bring me one from the Aconcagua Valley. Let's see. Aconcagua Valley. Chilean wine. There is this beautiful valley in Chile, the Colchagua, and the road there is completely surrounded by vineyards. Truly an extraordinary thing. To tell, tell you the truth, I really don't do know too much about wine. <laughs> but I've been trying to learn These all my life. are made out of a special polymer. Well, after, after maybe two, two weeks, weeks you really start to see a substantial see change in your different perspective, which has a race car. One of my worst very... champagne stories, I ended up making love on a Formula One car. You can feed anything in a Formula One car if you know how to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like the ducky, Andy? Very good. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of curves, many years ago, Madame Pompadour made the original champagne glasses. The classic ones, out of which moles? Uh -huh. Her own breasts! That's what they are like this! Now the king is jealous, and guess what he used as a mold for champagne flutes? 
No. <risa> Now are you always this quiet? Actually, I, I don't understand a thing. <laughs> Hi. Are you going to be long? In reality, the best thing would be to change the engine. But we don't have the budget. How much am I losing, eh? Not much. 10, 12, 15, chump change. No big deal, nothing Are really. we screwed or not? Not at all. But there is one switch we have to fix. Huh? The one from your balls to the gas pedal. <laughs> Freddy! Are we happy today? I'm looking at the next champion! Oh. Well, I don't see it with this motor. I mean, it can take it a few more races, but not the whole season. I told you to adjust the motor, nothing more. And what do you know about driving a car? Freddy is the one who drives the car. He's the important one. Mm. Your ticket. You're in the first flight out. And don't worry, you're gonna be fine. Thank you. I'm so nervous. I should have done this a long time ago, right? Well, we all knew it, but you had to decide for yourself. I haven't told him. R really? You haven't told him? I'm not going to tell him at all. What for? He won't notice anyway. You can leave your things here. Boys, these are your cars. If he behaves, you can show him the room with the Mustangs. It goes without saying that aggressiveness is this team's calling card. That is why Herdez Quaker presents Rogelio Ramirez, the most aggressive driver of the past two seasons, who is presently in the running for the championship. It is also an honor to present our newest driver, Andres Asuncelo Jr., also a contender for the cup, who joins us with his sponsor and now our new partner, Canet. Please do the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting race car drivers, Andres and Roger. Ooh, I almost forgot. Whoever comes out on top at the end of the season will get to race in the U.S. And now, questions and answers. Hey, over here, over here. Hey, Roger, over here. How do you feel with this uh, team change? Well, it is certainly a better platform for winning. Uh, Andres, Andres, uh, over here. You, Andres? Let me take a picture. Over here, look, Andres. 
I asked my dad about switching teams and he said, Andy, go. <laughs> In all seriousness, I know we have a great team. It is an honor to be racing with someone like Rogelio. A rival is someone who races against me. Rogelio will no longer be one unless he doesn't have what it takes. And who's the number one driver here? Well, I... Me. Of course. Are there plans to race abroad? Um, with... Let's hope this team will be a good springboard for racing in the U.S. next year. What's your opinion of Telmex? They are... Well, they are a very good team. Always have been. A and you, Roger? They are a great team. And we'll see them on the track. <laughs> well, the truth is that I hate rich people. Hmm? And God punished me for it. <laughs> what can we do? <laughs> Roger, hmm. let me introduce you to the team. Maria, my yoga Hello. instructor. Hello. Tony, my psychiatrist. Nice to meet you. Gerardo, our lawyer. Hi. And Xavier, our financial advisor. Nice Good to meet you. Good meeting you. This is the season's most promising racer. My apologies for Harry, but he asked if he could escort Rebecca home, for which I thanked him Man, immensely. I understand. <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Excuse me. This boy really knows how to drive. Knows how to drive. Thank yeah, you. I'm glad you came. Oh, thank you. Andrea, I think I must be going. What do you mean you're leaving? And uh, what are you doing later? I don't know. the campfires that you get yourself a new squeeze. You little bitches. Mm -hmm. Let me guess, you and Richie, the ladies at the hairdresser. <laughs> okay. So how's it going with the new team? What do you mean, how's it going? It's going great, grand, to the top. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The truth? <sighs> the truth is I'm having trouble settling in. We can't come to an agreement on the car settings. I'm not getting along with the head engineer. One of the head owners doesn't like me, but hey, it's the price we gotta pay, right?
always looking for that adrenaline rush. It's in your nature. But with every decision we make comes a gain and loss. What could I lose? <laughs> you know damn well what you could lose. To the airport, please. Well, Lapio, everything is ready for yet another race. The most heated item on the press this week was definitely the announcement of Rahio Ramirez leaving Seaman Baker for competitor Herdez Quaker. Extra, extra indeed. I don't know what your opinion may be, but in my book, this is called treason. I think he did the right thing. He's at that age where what you want is to get ahead. Herdez Quaker is a notable international franchise. Probably Rogelio wants to be an international driver, and he's taken the natural steps towards that. I disagree completely with you, Lapio. You just can't change horses in midstream, and that's what Roger has done here. Another thing worth mentioning is that his main rival on the track, Andreas from Canels, is now his teammate. Yes, but remember, opportunity doesn't always knock when you want it to. It knocks, and you have to take advantage of it. Well, I don't agree with what he's doing. If he wanted to switch, he could have waited until the season ended. Let's hope things go well for him. Making his qualifying round is Freddy. Let's see how he does today. How'd you feel out there? Good, good. You improved a lot from the first round to this one. We were at 16, now we're at 10. Not so bad. It's very good, but you still have to work on that little switch. <laughs> Gotta step on a little more, man. All right, all right. <sighs> have fun out there. You got it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Same to you. Good luck. All right. All right. What's up? Hey, man. <laughs> Where did you get those, huh? They don't go with you. Didn't your father say they were for the next champ? <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. 
Freddy. Okay, good luck. Good luck, Freddy boy. We're set, Roger. When the first yellow flag goes up, we pick. Everything is ready, and all the drivers are taking their place on the starting line. is aware of the rivalry between Roger and Asunsolo. This situation just keeps getting hotter. Gentlemen, start your engines. The Amazoc Speedway is at full capacity. It takes a lot of courage to drive on these cars. Let's not forget that these vehicles go to speeds up to 150 miles an hour, which makes it a high-risk sport. car has switched its turret off. Lights off, we're going green. The yellow flag is out. Right now it's green flag up. Concentrate, green is almost up. Don't let your temperature get over 200, bet if it does. The crowd is getting riled up. The crowd is getting up on its feet. Get set, two lines, green for green. Green, 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 green. his lead, but he's fighting for it. Tell him to move. I've got better painting than him. Andres has the better pace. Let him through. Negative, you don't have to pass me. But we can see a duel forming between the cars from Canals and Hedez Quaker. Where do you think you're going, Andy? It's no secret that these two have been at it for years, and now here they are in the same team and fighting for the same position. Tell him to move, damn it! Roger's hanging in there, steadily. are beginning to pile up as this race grows closer and closer to its finish. A lot of hot steel and hard emotion out there, Lapeel. Okay, yellow flags. As soon as pits are open, come in. Double yellow flag, and surely a lot of drivers will take advantage of this for a tire change. Position. Andreas will try to get him on the left. Candles on that Copy side. That. Copy that. Behind him, we see Roger fighting to regain his stolen position. He's coming in on the left. Andreas is holding steady. Pass me if you can. What the hell is wrong with you? Let's see what happens between Roger, Freddy, and Andreas. Get out of the way, you're blocking me. He's under control. I'm going for the lead. Roger is practically breathing down his neck. It's not going to be so easy. Here I come. Tremendous fight between Herdez and Quaker. Phone show. Tell him he has to run for me. It's all good now. I got everything under control. 
control. It is the Hedez car that comes out on top. Rogers on the second spot and gets tapped by Andres. What happened? I'm losing traction. So much for teammates. Andreas on Zuzolo is now on second place, Livio. That's not fair. I told you to get out of my way. I lost traction. He ruined my race. Meanwhile, Freddy is still on the top spot, followed by Andreas. They're running out of road, and the checkered flag is almost up. Who'll get it? Who'll get it? The checkered flag goes up for Freddy Balbinera. It can't work like this. Taking the top prize of the day. First name, Freddy. Last name, Balbinera. The driver from Extreme takes the top spot. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, That's hey. my Freddy. <laughs> This unsportsmanlike attitude is hurtful for our sport, and especially for our serial. Both of you know the rules. I'm afraid that on top of the fine for your teams, I will also be taking away 50 points from each of you. And next time you're gone. You two have made a very bad mistake because it could cost you the championship. Are you happy? I came in second. I could be happier. You screwed my race. Are you going to be blaming everyone else for your losses? That's not in my contract. Neither was racing with a sore loser. Mm, you're right. I'm going to talk to Harry. You should offer him your apologies. Look, you drive your races and I'll drive mine. We're here to win. No? Huh? Decisions are just that, decisions. They're not good or bad. The thing is, learning to live with the consequences. It's like when you're gonna take a curve. You know you have to hit the brake, but you decide to speed up just a little bit more. Testing your limit. It's right there, where championships are won or lost. It was handling great in high gear, but was giving too much in low gear. 
I think next time I'll change your nozzles. Well, not yours. The cars. You'll take care of it. Hi. Hey, Andy. <laughs> this is Vicky. Hello. Hi. From Virginia. How did you feel? It could have gone better. I'm telling you, the guy came in and blocked me. Isn't that right, Marco? Otherwise, I would have won. Look, Roger. Everything checks out. All I can do is take the motor out and see what happens. With the points we lost, getting to the championship could get complicated. No, don't worry. You did all right. Let me just suggest that next time you come in first place. Hmm? What happened? Racers are not one with just motors. Hmm? That was a dirty trick, Harry. Dirty trick. Yes, it was. But you lost, so you buy lunch. Yes, yes, but these aren't go-karts, you know? I'll take the motor out, check it, and let you know. What? Had a bad day? No. I don't think so. Well, that's the way it is, right? There are good days and there are bad days. Did you lose your phone? No. Why? It's just that since you haven't returned my phone calls... Should I? I don't know. I just thought... What? That we had a good time? I think so, too. <laughs> no, that... That we would see each other again. We are seeing each other, right? Look, Roger, just keep your head on winning, which is why I brought you. <sighs> yes, we won. But I told you that this motor was finished. The ringer shot to shit. Damn it. Can... Can I race it? Yes, of course. To deliver some pizzas. And you might get beaten. Hey, fellas. <sighs> How's it going? We're okay, but I told Freddy that this motor is taking us nowhere. We just won, didn't we? I give Freddy a chance, and he immediately wins the first race. So less complaining and more working, okay? Him? Who is it? What do you mean, who is it? It's your main man, Daddy-O. Didn't it open? Good evening. I'm selling wigs of all sizes. Long ones, short ones. Are you bald? No, thank you. Look at you sitting around goofing off, my brother. While I'm working my butt off at the shop. By the way, you stood me up, jerk. Obviously, there's no woman in this house. You want something? Fine, then. I sat down around the numbers. All I need is the last race to be rookie of the year, Papa. I'd have to crash or fall asleep. First, you have to actually win a race, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you're right. So the Colombian model's here. She's in town to get it on. Let me use the room. You're Look, alone. man. I have had a very bad day. Fine. I'll leave you alone. Place your bets. 400. 400. Calls. Calls. No, you're playing too rough. Beef card. The river. Bets. Here go 500. 500. Too rich for my blood. You pass? You know, it's nice that you invited us this time, but you're taking it too far, Jimmy. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Sissy! <laughs> you play like you have no family. <laughs> oh, another Sissy! And you too! <laughs> There's your bet. 
We'll open with 400. Five hundred. Let's see. Calls. Bunch of sissies. Sissies, sissies. <laughs> oh, yeah? Your bet, sir. Let's start with 400 this time. 500. 500? There's 500. 500. There's your 500. 500. How about another 800 more? 800. There's your 500. It's the car. Wait, 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 wait a minute. There are two things here. The car, the driver, and the car is just fine. One eighth of a hundred is almost a second. The ambulance can go faster. What? Do you want her to drive? Very good, Andres. Well done, Andy. I knew this was going to work out. <laughs> Have you met Fernanda? And Mariana? Excellent. <laughs> now that's a real driver. Not that piece of trash I chewed out. What's up? And the gloves? They don't fit me. Anybody seen him? What do we have? Two pairs. Three of a kind! <laughs> Having fun, huh? <laughs> Just remember this doesn't end until one of us has nothing left to beat with, huh? <laughs> Put your money where your mouth is. Like the gringos say. Put your money where your mouth is. <laughs> Deal. We got Roger and Freddy fighting for third place, while the citizen car and the GMI car duke it out for the pool. Let's see if the kid from Extreme can handle the pressure. Laser bets. One thousand dollars. The truth, this race is becoming really hot. Calls. Another thousand. A thousand. He now tries to break right. Race. He now tries to break left. He's practically breathing down Freddy's neck. Fourth card. Another thousand. The Reaper. Another break. This, this is a man's fight. Power versus strength. As we roll closer to the finish line, everybody ups the ante. Pair of aces. <laughs> Three of a kind. I told you, this is not over yet. Contact with me between 
car 7 and 15 which sends the 87 car flying through the air! It's Freddy Balbonera! We sincerely hope that he's alright. Well, the pace car intervenes, lighting its turret, signaling that nobody can accelerate as the medical assistant unit makes their way out there. Freddy. The ambulance gets there in under five seconds, and this is the risk that comes with the sport. We shall Freddy. keep our viewers informed. Remember, Jimmy, this doesn't end until one of us has nothing left to bet with. You even owe me the brake pads for these cars. Whoever lived and believed in me shall never die. It is with these words that we remember our friend Alfredo, who has left this plane of existence and who is now at the side of the Lord. Let us remember our brother Alfredo. For the Are you all right? Was. Yes, I am. How about you? I'm hanging in there. You really look great. Thank you for coming. How could I not? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, let us go in peace. It's not your fault. He knew it was dangerous.
You were right, Jimmy. You don't have to say anything. You're my son, aren't you? Yeah. Hey! <laughs> He died doing what we love. <laughs> it's a personal thing. All I want is to race in the semen jumpsuit, and you come here to laugh at me because Jack and Harry don't want to let me out of my contract? No, I'm not here to laugh at you, Roger. I'm here to tell you that I have spoken with the sponsors, and if you become a champion, they'll go wherever you want to go. If I become champion. Which means I have to beat Andres. Exactly. Anywhere? Europe? It will be the first time that someone raced in one car while wearing the uniform of another, but if that's what you want, no problem. Thank you. Good luck. We have waited a long year for this moment. This is it, the decisive moment. The stage is set. The speedway is jam-packed. We can look forward to an exciting championship race. Roger is wearing the Seaman Baker jumpsuit in honor of the late Freddy Balbanera. The championship sits between Rogelio Ramirez of Herdez Quaker and Andres Asuncelo of Canals. Whoever comes out on top in this race will be thrown as champion. Indeed, and right now we have all the cars heating up tires on the track. Any minute now we shall see the green flag. Let's see what Rogelio does. He's looking for an opening on the right. Is it open? Take him. He's yours. He's yours. You got him. Roger Rockets to first place. Very good. You got the lead. This is the championship right here, ladies and gentlemen. You have him in your sights as it is. He banks right. Now he banks left. Watch your RPMs. He's crawling all over, Roger. What's your problem, damn it? What are you doing? Wait till you're out of the curve. Will it be Andres or Roger? Will it be Herdez or Canales? I got you. I got you. I'll keep him controlled here. Roger's doing a great job of keeping his position. Andres, no more than 6,000 RPMs. Don't call this championship. Looks like something is happening to the Canales car. You blew the motor. The Hades car maintains its lead, but Canel keeps it tight. Looks like something is happening to the Canel's car. What's up, Mario?
It's almost over and the crowd is on its feet. We're gonna see who the winner is. Checkered flag, checkered flag, checkered flag. Ricardo Fernandez wins the race and with his gathered points earns the title of Rookie of the Year. Rogelio Ramirez will be crowned season champion. Drama, ladies and gentlemen, what a race. Ricardo Fernandez has just asserted himself as Rookie of the Year, while Roger Ramirez of Hernandez Quaker is crowned champion. Congratulations, Rogelio Ramirez, season champ. Congrats to him. What an amazing race. Let's go. This race is over. Decisions have consequences. And yes, there are bitter moments. But those are the ones that show you what you have, what you want, and what you are. Si en verdad quieres llegar a ser el próximo campeón Quieres 
ser el mejor y llegar hasta la cima De qué sirve la gloria si no hay con quien compartirla Vas a arriesgar la vida para cruzar la línea Para cruzar la línea tienes que arriesgar la vida Quiero ser el mejor y llegar hasta la cima De qué sirve la gloria si no hay con quien compartirla Vas a arriesgar la vida para cruzar la línea Para cruzar la línea tienes que arriesgar la vida Oye, loco, es muy recio ¿Cuál va a ser el precio? ¿Dónde está el negocio? Cuidado con los socios Muchos juegan sucio No juegan derecho Como la Alessio Tengan en la mente, te queda una maravilla Bájate tantito, andas muy arriba Quieres bandera cuadros, fórmate en la línea Quieres ser el mejor y llegar hasta la cima De qué sirve la gloria si no hay con quien compartirla Vas a arriesgar la vida para cruzar la línea Para cruzar la línea tienes que arriesgar la vida Quieres ser el mejor y llegar hasta la cima De qué sirve la gloria si no hay con quien compartirla Vas a arriesgar la vida para cruzar la línea Para cruzar la línea tienes que arriesgar la vida Será que el mundo no está hecho para mí o será que yo me quiero deprimir y si es que el mundo no está hecho para mí porque entonces debo yo de existir y esta cancioncita solo fue un desahogo sentimental ya que a veces es muy bueno dejarse y desahogar el mal desahogar Desahoga el mar Desahoga 